Hello, this is Torier and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universal S4 as Byzantium. Four years left. I am anticipating this might be the last or the second to last episode. So bear with me, we have a lot to do. Now, um, we are attacking Sweden, Norway, uh, Moldavia, Würzburg, Portugal, Spain, Tunis, Funj, and some other guys as well. And we're about to declare war on Balochistan to trigger our co coalition. But uh, that's after we break the power of Sweden and have them carpet sieged. Then we will take care of that. Okay, our armies are advancing massively. Um, let's have a look in, at Africa. Okay, we do have a large troop here fighting. And they are about to receive some reinforcements, so they should be okay. And you guys should actually mm, be sieging some lands over here. Okay, I think I'll unpause now and we'll see how it goes. And for those of you who just tuned in, my plan is to get as much land as I can before the end of the game and vassalize as many people as I can before the end of the game. Will we win this? Well, we do have a superior superior general, I think. We have um, a lot more cannons, so we might. We'll see soon. Yeah. And this is a good choke point. Where we can station our troops while we're taking over Tunis, bit by bit. Because we don't really need to fight some guy. We could. No. You guys can advance further. We'll get you to Ajuran, which we are fighting now. And there's a lot mm, we can still siege here. I mean, Ajuran is not crucial to our, mm, to our plans, but if we can take some land from them, hey, why not? And yeah, they are attacking from this side. But Great Britain might be able to take them. Oh, they don't have a general, so they won't be able to take them. But maybe if we help. We'll see. Yeah, you guys can help as well. Now, um, yeah, let's detach a siege here and move you guys up. Funge is almost done. Oh, Tunis here. Really? Really? I did not expect that. Instead, you are going to reinforce yourselves in this spot because Tunis is coming to get you. Now in the meantime okay, which battle was that? That was the big one over here. Good. Our massive forces actually our massive forces can advance one province. Okay, in the meantime our other massive forces can finally assume carpet siege of everything. Let's get back to Europe. You're actually ready to attack from the sea. And your general is quite good. So, here we go. And, yeah, same on the other side. Stockholm is about to be conquered. Oh no. You're actually walking around you're going to attack Finnmark, aren't you? Let's get back there. Okay, we are attacking from two sides, but we still need to preserve our troops. Let's monitor this battle. We do have a crossing penalty. And they have better tactics. Maybe I shouldn't have abandoned the military technology so quickly. Mm. Yeah, but we do have numerical advantage, a huge one. We're like Russian hordes at the moment. So we do own all of Russia, don't we? Okay, we're going to win the battle. In the meantime, let's see what's going on in Siberia. Um, nothing too bad. And there are some rebels, but we're about to kill them. Huh. New Manchu is having trouble, but that's acceptable. Moldavia is being sieged by the... But they do have... Oh no, they only have level 2 forts. I was, I was expecting level 5s like Portugal. Okay, so this is going to be 
not problematic at all. Okay, um, you're free. Let's send you elsewhere. Yeah, and there's some more troops in Tunis that we can utilize. Let's advance a little bit. And we actually moved into some guy. We don't really need to, but yeah. We're fighting some guy and Kabu as well. It isn't necessary. But Tunis, can we actually un fully annex you? Yes, yes we can. Or vassalize you. But we would have to conquer everything. I'm not sure we'll have enough time for that. Okay, that reminds me, we have to... Oh, you're attacking, really, you are. You're pretty sure of yourself. My army is bigger and my general also has three stars. Siege of Maspa. And Elbur. Right, oh. All right, mm, yeah, let's... You're going where you're supposed to go. Well, one of you is. You're supposed to go down here, and the small guy will go, will go to this uh, smaller spot. Mm, we'll split you, and you'll reinforce over here in case Bohemia decides to abandon it. And, yeah, you defend from Tunis. Tunis might kill them. Right, mm, not that big of a deal. Okay, let's just pay some more attention to Tunis. The forces are getting where they're supposed to be. But you should be sent directly here. And then distributed. Now, getting back to Sweden. Many fronts at the same time, yeah. This... Mm, this might actually be a problem. Let's see. We do have more tactics, we do have more forces. How good is your general? He's better. Okay, this is problematic. We need to reinforce this army somehow. Can we do it in any way? Well, we can. We can take this army. Maybe we can even do it in time, we'll see. That's basically the only way. I mean, you guys could also get there. But that's not going to make a difference. What was that? Battle of where? Oh. I did not expect this to go so poorly. Mm, Siege of Basso. Yeah. Oh, there's two armies here. They're going to waste. Mm, good thing Tunis is not pursuing this army. So they can't really do much over here. You assault. Now, getting back. Finally getting to Würzburg. Good. Uh, and you are going to siege their, help sieging their capital. And we'll send you south. Now, Sweden. Sweden is about to wipe our army. They have a massive advantage here. Oh, and we got into a battle. I'll just help a little bit. Okay, we're about to lose this, but will we get wiped? It's actually pretty significant, considering. Maybe I should just retreat, can we? Okay, we did retreat automatically. And they will soon advance, but we do have our forces ready to fight. And we can attack them before their morale recovers. Which might be sufficient to wipe them? No, we do have a smaller army. Really shouldn't be attacking them. But we could, what we could do though is reinforce over here. Mm. Right, because I only took half of the troops. Did we lose some transport? Is that it? Transports. 
three more years. Is this the time to declare war against our coalition? Probably. But we're just done. Here we go. Imperialism. Mutan might be able to take them over. In the meantime, should probably, yeah, buy down war exhaustion. And you guys go and who should we fight first? Brandenburg or Switzerland? Switzerland. No, Brandenburg can can cause more damage. They're stronger. Right. Mm. Yeah, you can advance. Almost all of Ajuran is taken over by by us at this point. And mm, Moldavia, how is the siege going? One, three, one. Not too good. You still have some time. Let's leave some more troops just in case. And how is the war against Sweden? Oh, you're fighting a naval battle. Well, you do have a lot of heavies. Oh, that's an inland sea. They have galleys. Crap. But we will still win, probably, but still, that is... No, we are suffering a bit. And we will lose this province. Or rather, the control over the siege of this province. Which is the same as losing the province, really. Now, um, yeah. Go on. We need more troops over here. Let me make some more troops. Build all mercenaries. Where's the bottom? And after that, build... Mm, build even more troops. Okay, that will be sufficient. Mm, yeah, I know we did lose this. Oh, we lost something else that I did not notice. Probably something in Africa. Let's pay some attention to Brandenburg now. Yeah, I did expect to lose this battle completely, so... We did win the naval battle against Sweden, though. And we can send you to Neva. Oh, we did lose it. Why? How did you win this battle? It shouldn't be possible. Not with their level. Okay, this is getting serious. We're a bit too overextended. We don't have the French might to back us up anymore. Mm. Yeah, you guys go down here and you go down here as well. And you. We don't have our best leaders here, but I guess I can assign you one. No, I can't. Mm, yeah, that's not our territory. Oh, you can get one of them, though. And you guys go there as well. Yeah, we need to make a choke point, but... I did not expect to lose this battle. This was a strong army with a good general. How did you get them, some guy? I guess you did westernize, but... You must have westernized and caught up on technology to do that. But um, Ajuran is no longer a problem. If I could piece them out, we would save a lot of manpower. But that would cost us diplomatic power. Where is Tunis? Hmm. Tunis. Why do you think you're winning? I don't understand. Oh, some guy, maybe you like a peace treaty. Mm, what if I conceded? What if I gave you a lot of money? Mm. Doesn't seem to work. Right. Mm -hmm. We don't need that many troops here. You can also reinforce the defense. If they're not advancing, they don't have the morale. This is a desert, so not a very defensible terrain, but we'll get a general there. And you go there as well. 
Now, Brandenburg. Can we beat them? Certainly. All the cannons and, and things. Well, they do have awesome morale and tactics. And some conversions, and you can advance as well. Should give you the general. What is he? That doesn't really make that much of a difference. Mm, yeah. And you can go there as well. Did we send somebody to Mzab? I think we did. Good. Um, some conversions. Yeah, let's make sure we're doing what's supposed to be done in Siberia. Then didn't, didn't get any um, Spanish people with funny ideas or any new rebels. No, we didn't. Good. Right, um, let's get back to Sweden, because it's proving a bit problematic. The new armies are building. Um, and you are actually... ...assuming some control over here. And we do have a carpet siege on all uh, their holdings in what used to be Denmark. Right. Come on, guys, we need to send you to another place soon. It's at such moments, I wish I had France on my side still. Maybe we should have started all those wars earlier and just used France for everything. Mm, they do have powerful ideas. Yeah, more conversions, whatever. Now, you... Will you wipe? Um, you did not wipe. Can you do it now? Can you get them? Wait. Oh, okay, I retreated my ships. That was a mistake. Hmm. Oh, and you guys died in the sea battle. Yeah, that's a pity. We do have enough manpower to last us until the end of the game, but again, that's a pity, losing good men. Continuing on. Oops. You get back here. Now, um, whoops, no, you stay. Yeah, we'll need um, to attack the Swiss army, but for that, We'll need a bit more troops, because we suffered some losses. Oh, we lost another general. <laughs> yeah, good thing we have enough military. Get a new one. They're better and better. What did we lose now? Okay, our forces did retreat this way. It was an unfortunate idea. Mm. Do we have some people that retreated over here? Oh, you're still retreating. Okay. Level 5, Siege, 12, 9, 8, and 11. Okay, this is all progressing nicely. Still three years left. Mm, now, we will combine them, leave a single army to Siege of Würzburg, and then the rest will pursue mm, the Swiss. Sweden will come here and probably destroy those troops, but we um, have new armies ready over here. Let's use them now. Um, yeah, rebels. Should I boost stability? Probably not. Don't have time for that. Don't have the points for that. Siege of uh, Galayo. Right, I could utilize you guys better elsewhere. Maybe I should. Ajran is no longer a threat. Let's get them elsewhere. Let's get you to... Where should I get you? Should I get you to siege all those guys? Maybe. Let's. Tunis is about to be completely sieged. And we did get into the positives. When we take their capital, that will become even better. Hmm... They're coming here, so I might need to reinforce this. 
a little bit. Just to make sure we can win before they come. Oh, and we did get a massive force here. We can surely go to Taudeni, or whatever that is. Okay, you need to reinforce it this way. And we'll be okay. Now, Switzerland, your turn. Here we go. Is this mountains? It's probably mountains. We'll go to your capital first. I need to get some more troops. Mm, let's get a small army in France. We do have the money. Uh, Great Britain, are you doing what you're supposed to be doing? I think so. Oh, can we fossilize Portugal now? We still can't. Why are you so stubborn, Portugal? Maybe when we take those provinces. Hmm. I don't think it's that likely. Maybe you would like to end this war. Almost. Hmm. Okay, the game is beginning to glitch when, I cons when I'm considering peace offers, but only then. This is weird. Mm, okay, you run away. We'll get you some help. Mm, yeah, this is all progressing, but it's doing so quite slowly. You have siege value? You do. Great, you help Port mm, siege out Portugal. Now, um, you have twice the army the Swiss have here, but is this mountains? It is. Maybe we should just assume control of their capital, then they will have no choice but to attack us. Now, um, we won. We weren't the main force on this battle, but you did win. Let's advance a little bit using this opportunity and that we really need to pay attention to this particular element of the war but why not you can always use the troops elsewhere namely in uh, taking getting war score in the war against tunis especially because tunis is coming Yeah, they went all the way around and they're about to attack the armies sieging their capital. Okay, we can get one more general. We'll be at zero military gain. I guess it's acceptable. Hmm. Hungarian nationalists, really? Can probably do it with increased autonomy, but uh, Shepes, where is that? It's here, right? And the problem's gone. Mm. Should I attack them in the mountains? Having doubled their troop count. Maybe if we consolidate. We don't have any cavalry, which might be a problem. But we'll consolidate, mm, so the armies fight better. Oh, the rebels finally moved. Because we are at war. Huh. Okay, I did not think those rebels would actually become their troops. This might be more trouble than it's worth. The bloody coalition war. Mm. The Battle of Viborg. Crap. Okay, um, those were a bit more difficult than I bargained for. <clears throat> Maybe I was too used to the fact that France did most of the work for us. But when the Swedish army is um, here, we can safely take land from them in this area. How are those sieges slowly progressing? Three more years. Okay, the Swiss will soon be taken care of. 
Siege of uh, Dra. Let me see. Yeah, good. Some guy. What would it take for you to peace out? Mm, you would. What? What would you want? Is that more give course? No, we don't want to give course. What if we gave you a lot of money? You need to reconsider. Show me the reasons. Want other stuff than gold? Really? What if I gave you all the gold? Still? Hmm. It's weird. I mean, I'm not going to give it to you, of course, but I was just curious. Hmm. Yeah. I'll assault the province, why not? Then we might need to go back and assault all the other th things here. And you will help. Because taking the Portuguese provinces should be the priority now. Our siege leader is helping. We don't have enough troops to assault. Yeah. If we don't take them mm, during the year, we might need to start assaulting. Okay, we can help with the number of cannons. And... Yeah, they're about to attack us. We do have a good general, a better than they. They might be going this way instead. We'll see soon. They're probably going here to save their capital from us. Now, let's get back to Europe. Especially to Sweden. But our massive army has assembled. And they are actually retreating from it, which is good news for us. Let's take all the other guys as well. And you. And all of you. Now. Well, first assemble. We won't be attacking them over a river crossing, of course. And it's a 4-4 general. Maybe we can get a better one here. Who is free? You are free, you're a bit better. Let's get you to Neva. Oh, they have another army. Where is our fleet? The fleet is repairing in port. Hmm, I think we can actually advance a little bit. Split you guys up. Yeah, we need to start finishing those Mm, those sieges, they're taking an awfully long time. Okay, and pausing now. Mm, and we do need to reduce our war exhaustion. Siege of what? Duterte. Rebels have crossed the border. Yeah, that doesn't really concern us that much. I mean, we could lose some land because of those rebels, but... We also might not. Let's assault the province. Mm. Yeah, we don't mind. Oh, we're fighting the Sultan of Brunei. Interesting. Mm, Moldavia. Why are those sieges taking so long? They're a merchant republic, really. That's something I expected. Okay, they're actually progressing nicely. Not too quickly, but nicely. And the war against Sweden is taking its toll, but uh, we might be in a good position. They are attacking, but we have massive reinforcements coming. Let's get another general. Can we afford one? No. We are at zero gain. Okay. So it comes down to this battle. Hmm, they did not get the crossing penalty probably lose. We are receiving reinforcements constantly, but we'll probably lose. Still, we're in the positive war score. Finally, all the sieges completed here. Almost all of them. Portugal? What about the vassal thingy? Still not. What if we... Mm, where is that? It's Spain. What if we convinced some of your 
allies to get out of the war. Huron, for example. Would you like to get out of the war? How much would you like for it? Byzantium will give Kor something. No. Okay, that's not going to happen. Well, I was hoping to vassalize them, but um, I can almost also be happy with taking older land in Europe. Okay, um... Okay, I did not pay attention. And we did lose... What is this general's name? Antonius Zimitas. Yeah, let's give you a random general. Hope I don't take him from somebody important. And we did take their capital, which would give us some war score very soon. They would actually accept a peace deal now. Mm. Yeah. We're in no rush, but uh, it's only going to get better now. Hmm. Okay, then. Mm. Yeah, this is all acceptable. Although we might have some trouble with Ching. Okay, I took a general from you, actually. Go and take Switzerland for us. For us. Yeah, the, sea, uh, the fight with Sweden is becoming a bit problematic. The battle is still going on, but we cannot win this. Not without all the wonderful military of uh, Commonwealth and France backing us up. It really is a pity. So we do have positive war score, so at least we'll be able to take something. And we won another siege. Great. Let me see the battle. It's still going on, weirdly enough. And we lost. Okay, so all of you guys, go and um, I don't know, concentrate on Moldavia for now. We'll get you back later. Now, um, yeah, Jagat has it is does not matter at the moment. We could concentrate on Baluchistan a little bit. It would be good if we could start piecing people out. Mm. But we would face a lot of overextension, so it's better to leave it for now. Tunis, almost ready. It would be wonderful if we could just full annex Tunis. And we have taken all we can from Portugal. Oh no, that's Spain. Portugal. Only 58 war score, really? Why is it so small? I mean, I know we have some other colonial lands, but really. Minus 77, so they're not going to accept, but we will take all their land from them, except for their capital. Spain and Portugal will have one province each. And that's strangely satisfying. Well, not strangely even, it's very satisfying. Okay, let's go on. Chase them. Chase Tunis. Siege of Uida. Okay, advance. Siege more. Siege more, siege quicker. Mm, and you guys fight the Tunisian army. What? You were not supposed to attack them. Oh, they chased us. Really? Sweden. Why would you do that? Well, but their armies are busy in our territory. In the meantime, we are busy in their territory. Although those sieges are awfully slow because of their um, forts and blockades and everything. Or not being blockaded. Did rather 9, 10. Okay, those, those should actually be completing relatively soon. Mm, some more conversions ready. Yeah. Really 
whatever. They are not that important anymore. Monthly war exhaustion 0 0.4. That's horrible. Sweden, are you actually willing to give me anything? Oh, you're not even willing to sign a white peace. Well, when I take this land from you, you will be. Actually, Sweden, what's your manpower? Maybe I can exhaust you with manpower. Um, let's sort by total armies. Orissa was Sweden. Yeah, you have no manpower. So, this strategy was not that bad. We can actually exhaust you that way. Mm, rebels, show me, show me the rebels. Manchu patriots, yeah. Mm, might become a problem, but isn't one yet. In the meantime, Spain, everything okay. Colonies progressing. And you guys are going to Moldavia, all of you. Yeah, we should just do some assaults here to make it quicker. And you... Hmm. Okay, um, yeah, the army is not ready yet. They only started constructing recently. Funge. Well, if I annexed Funge now, that would get rid of Call for Peace, wouldn't it? Did it? Did it reset the call for peace? It did not. Crap. But, um, those forces are actually ready to do something. So we can send you over there. Yeah, maybe I should just focus on Tunis. If I get 100% against them... Let's not overthink this. Just uh, distribute the forces accordingly and continue sieging everything. We are pressed for time, but not that pressed for time. Right, um, you guys should go to Würzburg. Yeah, we need more infantry. Just infantry. Um, here and here. We'll be using them for assaulting. Okay, first sieges against Sweden are completing. Maybe we should avoid attacking their capital because they will come back immediately if that happens. Should we retreat from this province or keep them busy? Maybe we should just keep them busy. Now. Um, she siege of uh, yeah. yeah, that's a pity, but not not such a big problem. And Balochistan is being attacked by our subjects. Um, when the armies currently sieging Moldavia are ready, we might send them there. You guys, when will you be able to assault? Not too soon. Maybe if we send you all the armies that are building at the moment. Struggle within, struggle without, sure. Free conversions for manpower. Mm -hmm. Some sieges in Africa, sorry, some victories in Africa. Welcome, but not that important. Get to some guy and do some assaulting. Tunis, are you willing to... Oh no, that's Balochistan. A wrong country. Still missing this province. And I do want it. Hmm. Siege of Owl something. So the African thing is about to be over. <laughs> yeah. The game is slowing down significantly when it's so late game and my computer is getting really, really... Mm, let's say, exhausted because of that. But, three more years. The computer can handle it. Yeah, let's send you here. Need more infantry. And you'll be assaulting. Congratulations. First to fight. Now, um, 
let's just uh, review our war scores quickly. We are winning against Norway, but we can't really get more. I mean, we should get our troops to the islands, but I don't think that was my plan originally. But I don't think we'll have enough time for that. Hmm. Let's block them so that they cannot come through the islands. That will give us some more time here. And yeah, you guys go to Moldavia. This way we will free up those armies and be rid of this part of the war. Now, actually Spain is responsible for our massive war exhaustion, so that's, that's Tunis. So maybe we should just piece them out and take everything from them. What do you guys think? Hmm. What if I just took everything and then used my bonus from Portugal to not die due to revolts? And even if we get massive revolts, we still might be able to survive. Lots of overextension. Oh, we still haven't taken Fez. I do want Fez. How's the siege? Well, you know what? Let's assault Fez. Then we'll peace out Spain and be rid of this awful, awful call for peace. Because uh, Spain is the only one that we have so much war score against. I mean, we are winning the other wars as well, most of them, but only Spain can be causing real trouble on this front. And we are trading in ivory, which gives us bonus diplomatic reputation. That would have been very useful mm, early, earlier. Okay, I'm going down to speed 2, because the game is actually becoming glitchy due to the number of operations that are being performed all the time. Now, um, why cannot, why can't I assault? Oh, because it costs military power, of course. But we did finish the siege. Now, Spain, get ready. Uh, that's Tunis, yeah, that's Spain. Give me Fez and give me all the other ones. Yeah. You will still have some colonial stuff. Although... Yeah, we can vassalize you or full annex you. Yeah, that will be it. And give me all your money. Well, that's a lot of money. Give me all you can. A bit more. I would actually accept 100% war score. Nice. Here we go. Oh, our name moved. I wanted it to be in the center. Yeah. And now we are severely overextended, 200%. But our call for peace should go away now. Why isn't our call for peace going away? Well, it should. And now we will need to actually do something about the revolt risk that we're getting. So let's get some autonomy increase. Whenever we can, wherever we can every place that has some unrest and can have its autonomy increased will have its autonomy increased come on this will be quicker that way you guys and um, who else who else just a little bit down the uh, right that's a good one you know what, it will be much easier if I just do it on the map, because I know which provinces I took. Yeah. It's a bit tedious, but we do have to perform this operation, otherwise we'll get lots of rebels. And I mean lots. Thanks to our war with Portugal, we're having a nice unrest reduction everywhere. So even if we can't vassalize them, even if we only take some land from them, it will still be worth it. Even though we've been fighting them for years upon years. Now let's get back to mainland Spain and do the same here. Yeah, we can't really afford to core anything. We don't have the admin points. 
But as the game is about to end, we really don't have to. All we have to do is endure. Okay, that's enough of this. And war with Spain is no longer happening. Right, um, so you guys were supposed to be assaulting here, right? But we can't be assaulting because we don't have enough military power. And we don't have enough military power because we have lots of generals everywhere. So we won't be assaulting. We'll be piling up hundreds of troops. Maybe I should just fire some generals. The crappy ones. For example, you. Yeah. That's one. Mm, who else is not that good? We don't have any shock value. We're firing you. And will that be enough? It will be gaining two points a month. I think assaulting costs five. Mm, we can also get rid of you. Hmm. You might be useful. So not yet. Hmm. Maybe we should actually peace out Tunis now. Let's just take this province and then we can peace out Tunis. Oh, what was that? Oh, Sweden has come back. Okay, everybody needs to retreat now. Retreat to the border provinces. Retreat back here. You know what? Everybody retreat all the way here. Not you. You stay. All right. And you will speed up the siege over there a little bit. Yeah, we should probably get rid of some more generals. Mm, you, maybe? All right. I already did try to get rid of you. Yeah. Mm, let's see how he does against some guy. You know what? We won't have this trouble if we just peace out Tunis. We don't really need that one province there. And this is a massive war that doesn't really bring us benefit. So, what if we take all this from you? What are you willing to sacrifice just to get peace? Yeah, Mazab. Oh, that's a lot you are willing to sacrifice to get peace. Mm, okay, not that much. We don't need this one, we don't need this one, we don't need this one. Right. Um, I prefer... Oh. Okay, this will, this will be nicer. Although, I don't really need this province. I'd rather have some over here getting nice a nice coast. Might even go that far. And abandon some thing like that. Mm, maybe this. Okay, so we can't get that much coast. Right, and this is satisfactory as well. And, uh, and here we go. Come on. The wars are slowly finishing. Where is our, n our name? No, it's down here. Oh, and Moldavia, yeah, Moldavia is being... Mm, is being conquered. Now, mm, some more autonomy. Increasing. Which is unfortunately really necessary, and both necessary and tedious. But we will get eaten if we don't do it. One more, one more, and... Okay, there's too much autonomy here, we can't increase it any further. Yeah. Okay, so our troops over here are no longer needed. Let's send them all... Let's send them all north. Do we want to fight Sweden with them, or do we want to fight Balochistan? You know what? Troops from here will fight Balochistan. 
No, we don't want an automatic transport. You just go. You just go through here, and then go fight Balochistan. And the troops from this side will go back to Europe. No automatic transport. I already told you. God damn it. Okay, what I need what I need to do is select the fleet and disable automatic transport. So I don't get prompted about it. Now again, you people will actually get to Europe. I thought I disabled automatic transport. Maybe I have another fleet that has it has it enabled. Okay, they're blocking our straight, so let's go through Poland. Yeah, whatever. And yeah, sorry, bumped the microphone a little bit. Okay. We'll get some nasty rebellions very soon. Let me just have a look at the unrest. Dutch Patriots in Utrecht. Can we increase autonomy there? Yes, we can. Mm, Portuguese Patriots in... In provinces that we haven't annexed yet. Which means that we cannot increase autonomy. Okay, you guys are retreating. We're still getting something from you, Sweden. Even if it's not much. We're still only getting all of Moldavia. What about Portugal? You know what? It's time to put in a cut. See? Nice, huh? We will be finishing this game up in the next episode. So, yeah, I'll see you next time. I hope you did like the episode. And bye-bye.